This is a very sad story of a young guy who is now 29. Uh, he was diagnosed to have a dilated cardiomyopathy five years ago, and because of which he was repeatedly hospitalized, lost his job from bank, and uh, at the end somebody advised him to look for possibility of heart transplant. He contacted us and uh, in second week of December we saw him borderline BP, tachycardia, bilirubin was already high, creatine was up about 2 and uh, we decided to keep him in the room in the hospital and he started him on some IV diuretics, beta blockers and uh, that improved situation for some time but in the first week of Jan, again he started deteriorating. He was unable to perform his activity, even routine, and he was in a state D heart failure with NYHA class 4 symptoms. So second week of Jan, we decided to bring him down to the ICU to start him on ionotrophs, milrinone and dovitamin, and a small dose of noradrenaline, with which he improved first three, four days. And then on 19th, he went into severe pulmonary edema and low cardiac output. Despite IV, diuretics, and ionotropes, he was deteriorating. His LFT with bilirubin about 15, LFT uh, with the enzymes about thousands, and creatinine way up about 3 with no urine output. So we're just wondering what will be the next step. We decided to bring the ECMO machine bedside in case he doesn't improve, we'll put him on ECMO. He, after 12 hours, shown some improvement, started making some urine. And uh, on 20th morning, he suddenly had a cardiac arrest, defibrillation was given, cardiac massage was given. He was revived with the mega doses of ionotropes, noradrenaline, vasopressin. He was awake with the pressure of 70, so we decided not to intubate him. Since we had already taken femoral arterial and venous excess in the form of 5F sheath, it was very easy to convert it to working ECMO. Arterial venous, arterial venous connections were connected to the ECMO machine. And we started him on the full flow of 3.8 liters. Within 12 hours, he started pouring urine. Creatinine started coming down. Next one week, creatinine came down to the baseline and LFT improved. But unfortunately, he developed septicemia with again deranged LFT and creatinine coming down. So we started him on uh, higher antibiotics with which he improved. And last two weeks, is actually a febrile the lungs have totally improved he is able to breathe normally you can see and uh, creatinine now is 0.8 bilirubin is less than 1.5 all the enzymes are normal albumin is normal all the blood cultures which were positive earlier gram negative uh, septicemia now all the cultures blood cultures we send it daily they are all negative so you can see that he has got the femoral cannulation, arterial and venous, and uh, there is no sign of any ischemia of the lower limb, which normally we can have it. Many times when the femoral artery is small, we put a distal perfusion cannula in the superficial femoral artery. This case actually wasn't done because he had a very good size femoral artery. You can see that he is actually moving, he is eating, he is talking, he is listening to music. So at least last 26 days he is on ECMO waiting for his turn to get a suitable donor. Today <clears throat> I decided to reduce his flow to about 1.8 liter which is actually about 50% of his requirement.
and he looks good his blood pressure is stable mean pressure is about 70 systolic 88 by 63 and his heart rate is okay about 94 spending good saturation on 4 liters the reason why I have reduced that is that is going to reduce the blood trauma and whenever necessary we can always increase the flow. Now he is actually on very small dose of milrinone, 0.2 mics per kilo per hour and IV heparin we are giving to maintain the AC tube was about 180 to 190 and he is also on beta blockers and cordon on IV infusion therapy. Five days ago, the oxygenation become very poor, so we decided to change the membrane, which was easily done. You can see this complex circuit with a limb between the head of the pump and the oxygenator, which can be anytime utilized to change the oxygenator. And if there is any problem with the head, it can be also changed. There is enough length of the arterial and the venous circuits. The only problem is that he cannot be allowed to sit. Now he is going to talk about himself just for a few seconds. Bolo bhai, kaise ho abhi? Abhi acha, thik lag raha hai mere. लेकिन 26 दिन से मैं बैठ नहीं सकता हूं लेटे लेटे ही सब कुछ करना पड़ता है खाना पड़ता है सोना पड़ता है टाइम पास करना पड़ता है पर सांस का तकलीफ तो नहीं पहले सांस का तकलीफ पहले जैसा नहीं है बढ़िया है पेट का भी तकलीफ कम हो गया कम हो गया भूख लग रहा है भूख लग रहा है खाना भी खा रहा है नींद आ रहा है नींद आ रहा है कुछ याद है उस दिन क्या हुआ था आसे 26 दिन पहले क्या हुआ था? वो मैं बेहोश हो गया था, वो आसे थम गई थी। हम्म कैसे पता आपको? मेरे को नहीं पता, आप लोग ने वो बताया बताया मेरे को। हम्म हम्म थोड़ा खुश रहना चाहिए, समझे ना? हम्म पैर में कोई तकलीफ तो नहीं है? नहीं नहीं है पैर चलाओ थोड़ा सा एक्सरसाइज करते हो बीच बीच में सो लेट अस होप दैट दिस फेलो विल गेट अ सुटेबल हार्ट सोन थैंक यू